welcome to Why It's Expensive, the show where I come right here, pick a legend I wish I owned but can't afford to, and figure out why it costs so bloody much. Today we have something quite special in store. This lens here is referred to as the Eye of Sauron, or one of Canon's holy grails. So in case you haven't figured it out by now, this lens is regarded as a legend. This is the Canon 200mm f1.8 L, so just let this sink in that you can shoot. 200 mils at f1.8 with this lens. This lens has been discontinued. They stopped making them since 2004. So right now, if you look for one on eBay, it's gonna cost you roughly three and a half grand to about five grand US dollars. So yeah, this lens is really quite expensive. But then again, there's not really that much of a surprise that it is because these big, fast and white telephoto lenses are almost never cheap. But this particular one is highly sought after for how rare this lens is. This was introduced in 1988 and 16 years later, in 2004, they discontinued this lens. And until then, only about 8,000 of these lenses were ever made. And nobody knows for sure how many out of those 8,000 eyes of Saurons are still surviving until today. So nowadays, it's really like an artifact, a collector's item. I'm actually still quite nervous every single time I pick this lens up. And this lens is such a legend that Jay's, the co-founder of Lens Ivory here, actually mentioned that it's a privilege to even be in the same room as one of these things. And because he likes the lens so much, he went ahead and sourced not just one, but two of these ultra-rare lenses and even mounted one on the wall over there. Yeah, he's absolutely crazy. Aside from just being incredibly rare, this lens was also a remarkable lens for its quality. Now, an f1.8 aperture at this focal length is already jaw-dropping on its own. Couple that with the fact that the wide-open sharpness of this lens is absolutely splendid, even in the corners. So it's really not hard to see why this lens was desired by so many people. And the sharpness pretty much has already reached its peak at f1.8. This shot here was taken at f1.8, stopping it all the way down to f5.6. It doesn't really get much sharper. In fact, I would even say that the sharpness at f1.8 is exactly the same as f5.6. It's also noteworthy to point out how it has practically no chromatic aberration at all. With this lens, you can expect nothing but clean and sharp images throughout. This is also a 200mm prime lens, but this is a 200mm f2.8. So putting these two side by side, you're looking at the difference between f1.8 and f2.8. So it's pretty crazy, huh? The autofocus on this 200mm 1.8 is also quite fast, which is quite impressive considering how much glass the AF motor has to move and to think that this was a 1988 design. The manual focus operation on this lens is focused by wire and there's also a very special selector here that you don't usually see on other lenses that allows you to alter the focus throw of the lens. And it should be quite apparent, but f1.8 at 200 mils is going to give you some pretty incredible bokeh. This thing is a bokeh monster and it's absolutely captivating to shoot with. Canon did eventually replace this lens with a newer model, but it was an f2 IS. In terms of price, it was more expensive than this lens, but it was a better lens in almost every way. It had a lighter weight, even sharper optics, and it even gained image stabilization, but it lost the f1.8 aperture, which is what made this lens such a legend. So this is still Canon's fastest ever 200mm lens, and you can argue that there never was a true replacement for this lens. It's an all-around downright amazing lens, and as we've established earlier, is a pretty rare item, so somehow Lens Library's got two of them. If you ever do swing by this place though, you don't just get to lay eyes on this holy grail. You get to actually touch it and even mount it on a body and shoot with it. They welcome absolutely everyone to just swing by and experience the Eye of Sauron for yourself alongside everything else they have, which is a lot of incredible gear. This place is in Malaysia, so if you do plan to drop by, I'll leave some info down below on how to get here. So let me know in this poll or down in the comments whether or not you think this lens is rightfully priced or do you think it's actually worth even more? Also, feel free to shout out any piece of gear you think should deserve a spot on why it's expensive. So that's pretty much it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.